Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to take a look at this uh, physical Broly, Chi-Li, and Lemo Easy A. Um, I think they're going to be absolutely incredible, especially on Broly's team. Um, just the type of unit I think the team needed, and I think they are a top tier option you're going to want to be running um, on that team. They don't fit on many teams, which we'll go through their categories in a minute, but when you can use them, I think they're going to be pretty top tier. They're even a unit you technically could use if you're not on the leader skill. Um, provided you have a lot of orb changing and can get their guaranteed dodge, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, their leader skill is movie bosses, key four and 150, or extreme physical type, key four and 100%. Um, I would say they're maybe relevant as like a battlefield or like ultimate clash leader, but otherwise you're not going to really run them as a leader, right? Super attack effect, the 12 key is greatly raised attack and defense for one turn, colossal damage and lower attack. And then on the 18 key, massively raise attack and defense for one turn and then Mega Colossal Damage, and then the passive, which is pretty long. Um, this unit already had kind of a long passive because uh, they're a very cool, interesting unit, right? So they get attack and defense 30% per key sphere obtained, so they're like a nuking unit. They get another attack and defense 10% per physical key sphere, plus another two key per key sphere obtained. Um, all allies get two key and attack 39% if you get AGL or STR key spheres. Otherwise, allies get two key and defense 39 if you get tech or int. So basically, if you get physical, you're buffing his attack. If you get the other types, you're either supporting your allies for attack or defense, right? And then all allies get two key, attack and defense 15% with rainbow key spheres. So rainbow key spheres are going to support all allies as well. It's kind of crazy. Like, I mean, you pick up a big pod of you know, like a type orb, and you're going to give a big attack or defense buff, plus another attack and defense 15. Like, that's pretty good for the rainbow key spheres. Um, just insane. Plus an, another 39% attack while performing a super. Launches an additional super attack, and movie bosses or super bosses, category allies, damage reduction 10% when key is 24. And 24 is going to be very easy to hit with these guys because of all the extra key they get per orb is kind of crazy. So then you're giving damage reduction to the rotation um, and another guaranteed additional super. Pretty dang good. Um, and then they have a high chance to dodge enemy attacks. So that is a 50% dodge built in. But if you get seven or more key spheres, you guarantee get dodge. So what's nice about this unit is you're usually playing for the guaranteed dodge. But even if for some reason the key is really bad and you miss it, they still have a 50% chance to dodge, which is pretty good. So going for the build for this guy, it's going to be up to you, but their role really is kind of like support. So even though they have guaranteed dodge in their kit, you may just want to do a full dodge build to maximize on your chance to dodge where you don't get the seven orbs, right? I'm going to play with them a bit and see how it goes. If I feel like I'm pretty consistently getting all the orbs, I may go a more offensive build. I want to look at their stats too, though, to see like what if they can actually tank or not. If they can't get decent enough stats to tank anything, then I might just, I mean, full dodge build is probably just the way to go anyways, but we'll see. Um, they randomly change key sphere of a certain type to physical if key is 60% or less, and then changes all key spheres to physical if HP is 39% once only. So if you get really low, they'll do that full field of orbs and be absolutely insane on that turn, right? Um, so I don't really have equips on them now, and right now I do have them with an offensive build, which I probably will change. Um, but I will just use them right now without equips get a feel for them, and then I'll kind of decide how I want to build them in terms of equips. Who knows, maybe raw defense or attack could be decent on them, depending on what their numbers look like. You can see we've got max links, and then here are their teams. Movie bosses, joint forces, bond of friendship, power wishes, and super bosses. I mean, you know, with the past two anniversaries, getting power of wishes and super bosses, actually pretty nice buff for this guy, because um, they just had like nothing, right? So at least they've got some decent categories, like movie bosses now is fairly decent. Um, join forces, there's good units. It's just the leader for it isn't very good. Bond of friendship, you know, I think what Pan is the leader for that. So that team doesn't have a great leader right now, but power wishes, you got the year eight, um, GT, uh, Vegeta and Goku. So that's definitely really good there. Um, actually I think both year eights are power wishes. Um, and then super bosses, which we've got like, uh, physical, uh, Goku black. And then obviously they're on the Broly leader skill as well. So yeah, pretty good there. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, so Broly and, yeah, uh, Rosé have the uh, super bosses. So they're at 100k defense, but we haven't grabbed orbs. Um, now, 
I am running, so we're just gonna be in this um uh what is it? This uh Goku Black Zamasu stage where you can't kill them, right? Uh Divine Wrath Immortal Will. Um and so what I did was I brought a team with like a lot of support. So like Mr. Boo's a great unit to put on the team because they double orb change. It's gonna help Broly and Chile and Lum will just be very consistent. Um, and I've got physical boo here just because he is a 60% support to extreme physical. Um, the one thing I wish, I wish you could run int Shilai on the team because they work so well with them also. But here we've got our seven orbs. We actually got 10 physical orbs here. So this will be buffing them a lot, but not the rotation. Except the two uh, rainbow orbs will give a buff to the rotation. So even when we're grabbing physical. So 359k defense. So yeah, even with getting 10 orbs, that's really not a great level of defense. But once again, they are getting some defense on super attack. Um, and they do have some stats here when they attack as well. So um, the dodge is definitely what you want. But with 10 orbs, it doesn't matter. It's guaranteed dodge right now. So we're going to be seeing that. Um, let's go ahead and we're definitely going to kill this phase here. We'll see what their numbers are kind of looking like here. And we'll just grab those with the physical boo. All right, guaranteed dodge. So coming through, right? <laughs> um, that's why you're so good. 16 million. Wow. 16 million for like a support unit is pretty dang good now that was 10 orbs you're not always going to get that many and that was physical which buffs them a lot more but yeah we'll take that and they had a guaranteed super coming there so yeah a pretty good first turn all right so we're on the infinite phase which is good we got mr boo chilling on the end there um so the thing you can do with this team is you can try to play to keep the orbs so you can see we got this nice pocket of orbs there of str so if I can just try to leave those alone, then I guarantee we'll have the seven orbs. So Broly and Chilai and Lemo, like, if you just plan properly, um, you know, the turn before, you can get them the orbs they need. Yeah, we're still sitting on seven orbs over there. We'll grab from this side because Mr. Boo kind of needs some orbs too for like his damage reduction, but I think we got enough there. All right, this should do nothing. Oh, 162k still. Wow. <laughs> So Broly, I mean, this Broly does really need to like get into his domain, right? And this rotation right here, he didn't have any links active. So what I was doing just, because I'm kind of treating this as like a fun run. Um, I do have him next to physical Broly, who to me just is not good enough to run. But because we're doing kind of a fun run, I think physical Broly is good enough for this event. It's old enough. But one of them has to transform before they link. So we haven't quite gotten to that point yet. But next turn, um, one of them should be able to transform. And then they're going to link really great and be looking a lot better. So um broly wasn't looking great there because he <laughs> was not linking at all and it was before he super attack he's more of a slot two unit until you know after he transforms then you might get away with him in slot one a little bit more oh shoot i shouldn't be using this physical broly he aoe's but he's gonna transform so it's fine we're not gonna kill goku black um once this broly transforms he's single target so this won't hurt us this will be fine but that is something i forgot to consider when coming in here although he is gonna just triple super triple aoe here but he, he won't be able to solo Goku Black, so we're fine. As long as Goku Black doesn't die, we're good. And then Mr. Boo here at 3.4 million. But yeah, I think right now the optimal way to run a Broly team is to have Broly Chi Line Lemo and then um, run that Mr. Boo as a floater uh, for sure. Okay, so we got Kid Boo. I set up this team, so we've always got like some really good support going. So Broly Chi Line Lemo here. Yep, seven orbs. We got it. So let's see here. Start a turn. Yeah, 110k defense. A lot of support there. Four rainbow orbs, right? So a lot of support to the rotation. Yeah, he, he is a dodge or die unit. So I'm thinking you probably just got to go full dodge build on him, to be honest. I don't think building him offensive is going to benefit you. Um, he can put up good offensive numbers, but I don't think that's the way to go. Uh, we'll have Kid Boo grab those. All right, see what we got here for Broly, Chile, and Lemo. We should be able to see their additionals and everything as well. But yeah, guaranteed dodge coming through. Yeah, I think full dodge build is the way to go. Yeah, 12 million. And see, even with seven orbs, like 12 million, it's not like an amazing number, but it's a very good number. And if you think of this unit as kind of a support unit, I think that's a great number, actually. Eight mil on the additional. And then once again, you get to that turn with the full field of orbs. They're going to do a crazy number on that turn. If we did, I mean, if we somehow got to below 39%, we definitely could see it. And I mean, if physical Broly gets supered, like, we definitely could take a chunk of damage. So we we might see it. We'll see. And then we can get Broly's domain up as well and kind of see how we're looking with that. But I would say this Broly, Chi, Line, Lemo, any team that you can get them on, I think they're worth running, especially if you get some orb changers around them. Um, you could float them. 
I think on Broly's team here, they work really great just in slot one, just like how I'm doing it here. You just got to hope that the orbs are there. Now, if the orbs aren't there, then you got to hope Broly, you know, the LR Broly can tank well enough in slot one, or you risk their 50% chance to dodge, which is why you probably just want to do a full dodge build. So yeah, I'm after seeing like the defensive numbers there, um, cause you're going to want to put them in slot one, I think. Wow. Kid Boo just dodging like a boss. All right. So Broly transforming. This is good for two reasons. Now we're linking and now we uh, are doing single target. So perfect. We can just run double Broly like that and be fine. Um, we do have the Broly domain as well. We might as well pop that. Sure. We can domain it up. We'll go domain and buff our units. Very nice. And they're still, now they're both the same name, but since they've transformed, they'll link, which is great. Love that domain background too. It's so crazy. So crazy. Yeah, now the links are flowing, right? Um, so yeah, we'll just do this. Um, now, once again, we got to think about Broly, Chi, Line, Lemo, right? We've only got six orbs here. I'm almost thinking we actually try to grab these and open up these in orbs to fall. Um, so I might actually, yeah, I'm going to grab this. And I'm actually going to intentionally grab these physical orbs out. And then, yeah, there's a nice pot of int there. So we should be good for Broly, Chi, Line, Lemo. And then, yeah. Now this Broly's popping off, 18 million. <laughs> um, the friend Broly in this fight, the LR friend Broly is rainbowed and my Broly is only 55%. <clears throat> I kind of want more copies of him, but his banner is so bad for me right now because I think um, just Broly and the banner unit's all I need. Everything else is rainbowed, so I just it's not worth it for me to go in on the banner. <laughs> And like Beast and Gammas are like right around the corner and I'm really excited for them. I love the Gammas, dude. Gamma 1 and 2 have been my favorite units. Hold on, wait. Are we doing AoEs with this guy? Shoot, if he's doing AoEs, we're in trouble. Because I think I see Goku Black taking damage, huh? Oh, he is AoE. Shoot. That's not good. Okay. So we're going to be limited. I should not have done the domain. Because I kind of want to get more turns. And those were uh, 12 key supers. Those were all the additionals were hitting AoE. I did, wow, I did not even realize that Broly did AoE. I guess I haven't done a showcase on him, so I haven't really, like, gone through his kit in detail. I probably should, but um, I'm kind of more excited about the Easy Age right now. Like, I kind of want to do a video on, like, the free-to-play Gogeta. I don't think I've seen a lot of videos on him, so we might get a video out on him as well. I'm just going to flood my channel with a bunch of Dokkan stuff this week because there's a lot going on. All right, we still took damage there. That's how bad that physical Broly is. Um, and then you're going to be fine just dealing a little bit of damage there. Sure. <laughs> he has healed it all back right there. All right, we got a really juicy Mr. Boo turn here. Look at that. So we will do this. Uh, we got seven. Yeah, we got a lot of options for seven. Um, let's do seven with the AGL, which I believe pumps attack. I think it's AGL and STR pump attack. Defense, yeah, 252. He, Yeah, he is dodge or die for sure. And then Mr. Boo will get us a bunch of rainbow orbs. He heals as well, which actually I don't think I need that, but we'll take it. All right, so, and actually we've seen enough of them. I mean, this is what they're going to do, right? They're going to sit and dodge. <laughs> Guarantee dodge. 13 million. So yeah, and I think looking at their stats with seven orbs is pretty good because that's usually what you're going to aim for. So yeah, they're in the 12 to 13 mil range. And then the more you get above that, the more your damage is going to get, right? So they have the potential for very high insane damage amounts. I suppose I could have brought orb changing items in here, but like you guys get it, right? Nuker, big damage. <laughs> it's what's going to happen. And then like if you do get that turn with the full field, they could naturally tank, but obviously they're, they're going to guarantee dodge anyways. So that's the bad part. If you get enough orbs to make them like defensive enough to tank, well, they're going to be automatic dodging anyways. But that could be useful if you use them in a fight where they can't dodge. I don't know that I would run them in a fight where, do where there's dodge canceling. I think that might be a little too risky. I mean, post super, their defense is probably at decent levels if you get a lot of orbs. So you might be okay at least against normals, but... Yeah, they're a tough run if you can't dodge because that's kind of what their spiel is. Um, so here, I mean, yeah. Oh, and Broly's just at 24 key. Crazy. 
Um, so yeah, we'll just attack here. If Broly kills Goku Black, we'll just call it the video. If we get another turn, then we'll definitely take it. Um, and we're going to try to be strategic, strategic here where I think we've left a nice area open with seven orbs, right? Yeah, it'd be nice if he... Wow, 21 million for Broly. It'd be nice if he could uh, heal Goku Black, but that's okay. All right, so this should be single target, right? Yeah, that's single. It's just all these 12 key additionals are AoE. So these 50... I mean, he's probably going to take out Goku Black. And this Broly just loves to do a million additionals. I mean, yeah, this Broly literally is like the physical Broly's attacks combined into one. Let's see. Can Goku Black withstand the onslaught? Probably not, huh? Oh, that crit there. Yeah, he took him out. So anyways, guys, there you go. Just a quick little snapshot of Broly, Chi, Lai, and Lumble, But yeah, I think they're great. If you're running the Broly team, you definitely want to run them. It's just a unit where like, you don't want to mindlessly grab orbs. You want to really pay attention to the rotation before. Look at what your orbs are and try to leave a nice pocket. Even if you got orb changing, you can't count on that to hit how you want. Um, so you want to try to make sure there's seven orbs open for them. And if you can do that consistently, you're looking at a slot one killer. So anyways, let me know what you think of Broly, Chi, Lai, and Lemo. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.